All right, y'all, what is going on, guys? And today we're back with another vlog. And in today's vlog, as you can tell by the title, we're just gonna be vlogging the next couple days. I don't really know what I'm doing per usual, so just sit back, relax, and enjoy. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. We're on the grind to 90,000 subscribers. But we're going to book off right now because I have to drop off a bag of stuff that hasn't been selling on whatnot. So I'm just gonna give it to them. They'll probably give me like a few bucks, nothing crazy. It's really a bunch of like just random little anime items. So, and then we'll see what they got in book off as well. All right, y'all, we have book off. And first thing I found was this Ambu Itachi chase but it's $40 if it was 30 maybe I know 40 is actually like a pretty decent price but I don't know okay time to look at my favorite section I'll let y'all know if I find anything we'll see I found a Denji Nendroid for $30 which isn't bad look it comes with Pochita too I didn't even peep that damn I don't know if I need it though they got a few new Funkos in the $5 they got Luffy Broly oh that's not Broly but they got Trunks Zoro I don't even remember if I vlogged it but I finally got some of OG Fruits Basket like the old volumes like these ones um I already have volume 7 so I can't get this one but I got like almost like 10 of them from here for like $6 each which isn't bad but where's the high Q at because we do need to get some more high Q. they have these like things you buy like a ticket and you could win something and I just bought one and I won a towel you could win like a figure or something but I got the towel alright y'all so I just did the little thing spent freaking money just to win a towel but they have this little spider-man which is actually really cool i just i don't need anything spider-man related because i have too much all right y'all so we just left book off your boy sold stuff and then i used the money that i got from selling stuff to buy the ticket and then with the ticket we won a towel so yep that's how that's how you boy finances but I don't care, I like Evangelion. So I was like, you know what, I wanna do it, see what I get. And then maybe we'll go back and do one more just to see if we could test our luck, but I got Ray, so. It's back outside and basically I just dropped Amanda off at her job, so you already know what that means. You know what store we're near? We're near Kino Kino, I sold, let's go to Kino. Also, I promise y'all I don't go to Kino and book off every day. I know it feels like I do because I record every time I go in, but my videos are spread out like within a week sometimes, so really like once a week i may be lying to y'all it's probably like two or three times a week but that's what happens when your girlfriend works literally near it and my excuse is walking her to work even though she doesn't need to be walked to work also i don't know if y'all saw but me and will dropped the music video for you wasn't there too so make sure you go check that out i'll put that above in the title screen but let's put some b-roll he wasn't there for me no you wasn't there for me he wasn't there for me no you wasn't there for me wasn't fair to me, no, you wasn't fair to me. You didn't care for me, so you didn't care for me. I found this volume called Tokyo These Days, Volume 1, in the newly released section. It's cool, it's hardcover too. And it's pretty, it's $28 though. They don't really have any new figures. I feel like recently it's been pretty dry with the figure selection. I bought Windbreaker Volumes 1, 2, and 3, and I have yet to read it. Like, I need to read it ASAP. One day we will have all of Haikyuu. Just remember that. Low-key, I have to redo the Haikyuu shelf, so we might do that in this vlog. So maybe I'll cop another volume today. We'll see. Funko section, looking the same. 50% off section, looking the same. Now let's see if they have any cool blind bags, which it looks the same, to be honest. Oh, they got some new Skate Infinity stuff. Well, at least just one thing that I see. I don't know, maybe there's more mixed in, but they have these. Which, I don't really care for the plushes, because one, they're overpriced, and two, I have enough blue lock ones to last me a lifetime. But, damn. Oh, look at Longa, bro. I really want Longa. They got some Naruto stuff, like the top 99, but I can't buy any more Naruto things. I just have too much. But they got these new Q things, which I kind of want one of these. It's like a mini acrylic of their little mascot characters. There's no acrylic, um, like, Skate Infinity stuff, otherwise I probably would get. And then they also got some new Horima stuff, which I didn't even realize. They got all these pins and stuff, which, again, I don't really need pins, but I kind of want one of these, because it could only be Hori or Izumi, so I really want an Izumi one. Alright, y'all, we just copped some manga as well as some mysteries, so we'll open it up when we get home. And I got Amanda a little Valentine's Day gift, because when I'm recording this, is before Valentine's Day. So we are back at the crib now, so without further ado, we got a little pickups haul, and then we're gonna redo one of the shelves. I'm basically thinking, I'm thinking about it, of moving the Boruto shelf to one of the bookshelves and then switching the high Q to one of these since these shelves are a little bit bigger and the Boruto section isn't that big. I just have it really like spaced out. It'll make sense once I show you in depth, but the reason I want to move the high Q shelf now is because high Q has almost 45 volumes. Boruto has 
up to 18 right now and it's mainly just figures up there and I have a bunch of Haikyuu manga building up slowly as well as a bunch of Haikyuu figures and they just all don't fit on these shelves so I feel like the Boruto one out of all the shelves right here would fit there the best the other option was moving the Star Wars shelf around but then I'd have to move like mad different shelves around so I'm just like you know what I'll just switch Boruto out. It doesn't have to be under Naruto. I don't mind it somewhere else. Like, it doesn't have to be attached to Naruto. But, we did get a little pickups haul, and we did get... Oh, I can't show one of these. Well, actually, it's past Valentine's Day by the time this video comes out, so it doesn't even matter. But, I did get Amanda this Bottega Veneta book. So, she has a bunch of these. She has Balenciaga, Vivian Westwood, Saint Laurent, uh... She apparently, she apparently Louis Vuitton and Christian Louboutin. So now she has Bottega Veneta. What I wound up getting was, as you guys saw, three more volumes of Haikyuu, which I'm going to rewatch Haikyuu very soon because I feel like I forgot half of the characters' names, at least from the other teams. Um, and that's bad because I really did like Haikyuu and I just feel like I don't remember what happened that much. Um, well, I remember what happened. I just don't remember, like, exactly everything so i want to rewatch it before the movie comes out um or reread and then we got two little haikyuu mysteries which i was very excited about um these ones i really i mean i don't know you guys know my luck with trying to get kenma stuff from the mysteries so hopefully we can just get the kenma cat because again like i i'm not the best with the names and i'm not going to remember all these pe people's names all their little animals and everything without further ado let's open these up so bag number one i literally grabbed the two that were next to each other because i didn't want to get a duplicate like i didn't want to risk getting a duplicate like i always do with the blue lock situation so three two one who we got what the wait a minute i don't think i got the 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 right series we got my boy in a tree uh i mean i'm not complaining but i unless that was one of the mascots is it a reference did i did i blink all right bag number two now i'm scared because are these not the animals if this isn't an animal, that means that they mixed up the boxes or something. Because I grabbed from that box. Okay. Oh, let's go! Let's go! We got Kenma's cat! Oh, so we got Kenma's cat. Now I don't ever have to buy any of these again. Wow. But, yo, you can't tell me. I wasn't expecting that. Alright, I guess it is part of the same series. But I guess I just didn't see that one on the um, thing. So it kind of threw me off. I thought it was going to be, like, all the players like this or something. Um, but let's go. I literally got the one I wanted. So, we are literally going to only move two shelves only two shelves also ignore itachi and izumi fighting in the background but we are going to take off everything from haikyuu maybe move one of the shelves down but i'm not rearranging anything and then i'm gonna move boruto to like here i think that's where i'm gonna put it i don't know just sit back relax and enjoy me try to play jigsaw puzzle with my freaking shelves again okay i'm gonna t attempt to move all of the haikyuu stuff first and then we'll move the boruto stuff so let me pull out all of these Haikyuu things that we have because for some reason Haikyuu has started to take over the shelves. I used to have all of the Funko Pops, but I was like, yo, that's kind of obsessive. I'm not going to lie. Like, I don't want that many Funko Pops from it. The only other Funko Pops I'll get from Haikyuu is if they ever make Kenma and like different players. But I didn't need the whole freaking roster. The Kenma, I feel like I want to give Kenma eventually. Like, there's only like a few characters like that I want to just like collect like a bunch of things of from them. One. Itachi. I'll get anything I see Itachi and Sasuke Loki. So Itachi Sasuke shelf, which is behind me. I'll get everything I see of them. I don't care. Then Kenma's another character that like I'll get anything that I see of him. Like I don't know. I just want to make like a whole Kenma shelf one day. Another character is Yuki Soma from Fruits Basket. I only have a Funko Pop from him right now, but he's a character that I would love to like have like all the merch of. Um obviously blue lock i'm already there like <laughs> i'm not even gonna say nothing about blue lock because i basically have enough freaking things for every character from blue lock like characters i really just mess with for some reason like i don't know why like i'm just drawn to them for some reason definitely itachi definitely yuki definitely um kenma who else boruto low-key i i I mess with Boruto heavy, like the character Boruto, I'm not, the show, yeah, obviously, but I'm talking about like characters. Boruto, I mess with heavy. Anybody from Blue Lock, to be honest. Rei Onagi, Isagi. Like, those are probably my. I don't. Chigiri's so tough, too. Bachida's so tough, too. Like, damn. I just have an addiction, bro. Sorry, let me get back to moving this stuff. In the day, I don't even know if I vlog. Did I record it? I think it might have been in a vlog. I'm not sure, but I got some stuff from Kuriko's Basket. I've just been in an anime, sports anime mood. I don't know why. I just been on a sports kick. Maybe I just need to go outside. Haikyuu shelf is cleared off. Now, 
Let's start playing with the Boruto shelf. Okay, so I just moved around some shelves. I don't know if y'all could tell. Obviously, the big shelf, but I moved Jujutsu Kaisen up here, and then I put Death Note there, and I put Boruto right here, so that way it could just be like Boruto, Boruto. So now, let's bring all the Boruto stuff over and try to redo it, reorganize it to fit into that type of space. Honestly, though, I'm just going to pull out all the Boruto things just so I can see them. Like, I'll keep some things grouped together as I had them that, like, make sense, but... I need them to make a time skip Boruto figure. That's what I need. This magazine is so tough. All right, y'all, we're slowly cooking. I don't know if y'all could tell. That's what the Boruto shelf is looking like right now. And I'm actually, like, really happy with it. Like, it's really cool. Like, I feel like I kept it mainly, at least this shelf, I kept mainly Boruto and Kawaki. Um, but I still have all the extra, like, characters. Not extra. You know, all the other characters besides Boruto and Kawaki. So... I'm gonna try to see how many Funkos fit on here. If anything, I might even take some Funkos off of this, but I don't think I have that much room. I don't know if I'm even gonna be able to fit all the Funkos on this shelf. So we're gonna try to do that first. Um, but yeah, let's just see how that goes. I'm honestly just gonna try that right now because I just wanna see what fits. I also have these little Borto and Kawaki, like little like Funkos, but I, I don't know where to put them, bro. Like they're keychains, so like I can't even take them out of the box and put them in front and like, I feel like it just clutters the area too much if I put them there. So, yeah, these might have to go somewhere else, or I might just have to take them out, use them as actual keychains. Guess we'll do Mitsuki middle row, because he is tough. Yeah, let's put my boy Mitsuki middle, in the middle, and then we'll put Borto and Sarada in the front, if we can even fit them all. This Sarada does not stand. Like, she just doesn't stand, and it, like, gets me tight. Because, like, how can Funko make a product that just doesn't stand? I mean, they're a little blocked, but, yeah, I get the point. All the Borto stuff is now put to two shelves again, and we have the bigger shelf open. So, the only things I couldn't fit were these two little Funko Pops, which is fine. And then a magnet, which should just go on the fridge anyway, but I had it like this on like a little display. But we got enough imagery on this shelf as is. All right, y'all, I'm slowly but surely going to attempt to do this high Q shelf now. Um, I just have to do it so I have room because, like I said, there's 45 volumes of high Q. I literally have 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. I have 22. So I literally have half the series. So that means that this is going to double, which is almost going to take up the full shelf. I don't know if it will actually go to the end. How much does Naruto have at the top? You know, it still has room. Even with 45 volumes, it'll still have like a little bit of space at the end. Nothing too crazy. But when it does, when I do have it all eventually, it's going to be this whole back part. So everything is going to be in front of it for the most part. So I just have to keep that in mind when like decorating it right now. But for the meantime, I guess it doesn't matter. It's going to get moved around. Um, but might as well just make it look somewhat nice for the meantime. Okay, so for the meantime, I think this is going to be the Haikyuu one. Again, it's not finalized, it's not done because Haikyuu is going to grow, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So this is cool for now. I want to definitely have my own little Kenma section. So like I said, hopefully when the books come in, I think it'll like end right about there. So I can make like a Kenma like little corner and then have like everybody else kind of just in front of the books. But yeah. Pretty cool little Haikyuu stuff, and now I have room for it to grow. I don't have to worry about changing it up every single time. And Boruto, Boruto looks good, so I'm very excited about the Boruto section. And it broke it up a little bit more because now you got like more books over here, and then more Funkos. Like it's a little bit more spread out through all the shelves, and it's not just books right here and not just figures right there. So, yeah, pretty cool. And I like the new Jujutsu Kaisen section. I didn't even really show y'all, but it's there now, and Death Note is there. So. Yep, that's it for today. I'm gonna go shower and call it a night. Baby, what's the vibe? Hop inside a ride. I know you wanna slide. Know you wanna slide with me. Cause I'm vibing, baby girl, I'm vibing. Don't show up to the party with no violence. Don't show up to the party with no violence. I take you out, I break you out, I got you smiling. My love.